Wake up energized and throw off the blankets. Today is our match against Unabu Geisha, and I am looking forward to it. I run through my morning routine, thinking up strategies in my head, then try to refocus as I finish my breakfast. I still have a class to attend before my match. I grab my bag and hop on my bike. There is an unexpectedly heavy amount of traffic this morning, and I rush into class right on time. That was a little too close for comfort. As I settle into my seat, the professor clears his throat beginning this lesson. Good morning, class. For today's lesson, we will discuss the differences between energy and kinetic weapons. Uh, we'll hear him out. Sounds interesting. Let's first review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear. The shield and hull. The hull is the physical gear. The shield is a virtually invisible barrier generated by using the core's energy. The strength of the shield varies greatly depending on the core, shield generator, and power allocation settings. Energy and kinetic weapons are meant to target opposite defenses. Energy-based arsenals are effective against shields as they quickly drain shield energy, but because of that, they are weak at penetrating the hull. Alternatively, kinetic weaponry is designed to puncture the armor, but they are weak against shields as the kinetic energy gets dispersed over a large surface area, the entire shield. For the purpose of war games and recreational use, only energy weapons are permitted. A gear is considered destroyed when it is depowered. Of course, outside of recreational combat, this rule does not apply. A student raises his hand. What about hybrid weapons? Ah, yes. Hybrid weapons are able to equally damage both the shield and hull. However, their damage strength is not as effective as a singular purpose weapon. The student nods in acknowledgement. Please turn to page 233 and let's take a look at the different types of energy weapons. I flip to the page Professor mentioned and continue listening to it the lesson. So I wonder if that's going to be a later That's strategy. all for today. Please make sure you have all completed your web link assignments for next class. I pack my things and head to the hangar to meet up with my team. Our match is scheduled earlier than usual and we need to rethink our strategy. The plans we discussed had all revolved around our match against Strike X, but now that they're disqualified, we have to come up with new ones against our new opponent. I enter the hangar and look for Aura. When I arrive, everyone's already there. Show waves. Rosa? Hey. Hi. Kari greets me with a nod. Good. We're all here. Let's head to the pre-combat room and start planning out strategies. Hey! We collectively turn at the sound of May's voice. She waves and beams at us as she runs closer. What are you doing here, May? Kauri sounds less than amused. I wanted to wish you all good luck. I'm so excited for our match. Me too. Mayu smiles and nods. I'm staying out of this. I remain silent as does Kauri. May looks at the pair of us before shrugging. Good luck again. I'll see you guys in the arena. As quickly as she arrives, she's gone in a flash. She's so nice. I'm totally feeding off of her enthusiasm. I'm getting a better vibe off of this match, too, than the one off of Strike X. No! Sho blinks at Kyrie's outburst. No? She's just putting on an act. She was trying to psych us out. Don't fall for it. I don't think that was her goal. You guys don't know her like I do. You can't trust her. Especially when she's acting all friendly like that. Kauri's been acting strange. More so than usual when May is involved. Anyways, let's go strategize while we have some time. She doesn't wait for us to answer and begins power walking towards the pre-combat rooms. Hey, wait for us! We jog to catch up and follow her. After a quick change into our pilot suits, we meet at the hollow desk. Kauri sets up the match. A few minutes later, the holodesk projects the arena and the gears involved in the fight. Alright, so what's the deal? Onna Bugiesha is a melee-only team. It will be important to pay attention to our positioning and maintain a safe distance. We've had close combat teams in the past. Claw of the Wild comes to mind from a few weeks ago. Mayu's focus on the holodesk and takes a serious tone. Claw of the Wild was a melee-centric team, but their gears were knitted to perform a hybrid role. Based on Ona Bugesha's data, 
their gears are all custom tailored for high bursts of speed and close combat engagements. We would benefit greatly from keeping a distance. If we play defensively, it will force them to chase us, and we can wear them down before going on the offense. What do you think, Brosif? <sighs> Agreed, ranch is key. If they have no ranch weaponry, we should do as much damage from afar as we can. Whittling them down before fully engaging will give us the advantage. Sounds good to me. Problem is, I imagine every other team they've gone against has tried this. Mayu and Kaori both nod. Okay, well, we can all go range, but Aura can't. The team looks at Kaori. I'll engage Mei head on, and keep her out of the fight. That kind of goes against our plan. To my surprise, Kaori grits her teeth and bites back a retort. She stays the holodesk for a little too long in size. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll hang back with you guys, and intercept if one of the enemy gears manages to break through. Mayu nods. I think that would be best. Okay, let's recap. We'll play it from a distance and keep baiting their team. Since Mayu is our best shot, we'll keep her well protected and follow her lead. Kaori looks right at me. She finally looks more focused than I've seen her all week. You and Sho can play aggressively if we take the lead. I will intercept whoever reaches Mayu, if they even manage to. Got it? We all nod. The tension is palpable. Even though Kaori is always serious, her tone is much more aggressive than usual. We have a rare opportunity to really boost our MMR, and we can't throw this chance away. There's absolutely no way we can lose to Mei. That almost sounded like a threat. I nod a little uneasily and glance at Sho and Mayu, whose faces mirror my thoughts. Kaori turns back to the holodesk and uploads our plans as we wait in silence. A loud beep announces the match. I mutter under my breath. Saved by the beep. Sho and Mayu seem equally relieved. Just make sure you guys stay focused. Of course. Sho forces enthusiasm into his voice, attempting to raise her morale. Kaori ignores him and Sho deflates. Let's go. We enter the arena from one side, while Onobugeisha enters from the other. Welcome, everyone! Are you all ready for another fantastic match? The crowd erupts into a loud cheer. Good, because we have an amazing one lined up for you! Onobugeisha versus H2049-11! Hmm. I don't think we're ever going to get a name. <laughs> Everyone's comms are open as we wait the sound off. May's team get into position and wait with relaxed confidence. As we get into formation, the tension I felt from before intensifies. This no longer feels as friendly of a match as I thought it'd be. As soon as the sound off blares, May's team dashes straight towards us. A faint shimmer surrounding the gears reveals a hefty frontal shield. Mayu raises her gun and takes aim while the three of us position to protect her. A heavy round flies into one of the gears in the distance. Although the shot connects, it disperses into a hexagon of shimmers. What? They're shields! They're tailored to deal with rail guns. I need the shield to be weakened so that my shot can penetrate and force an immediate to power. Affirmative. I'll stay back and protect. You two go aggressive and focus on knocking out their shield. Let's go. Roger that. Switching to EMP rounds now. Sho and I boost forward, spraying a hail of energy rounds. The enemy team takes evasive maneuvers. May breaks away while the other three continue racing towards Mayu. The closest enemy gear takes the brunt of the damage and its front barrier drops. Mayu takes advantage of the vulnerability and aims a shot at the gear, instantly depowering it. Nice! One down! I have two of them approaching me. Howdy? Howdy! Aur has already left her position and sprints towards May. What are you doing? You have to protect Mayu! I am! I'm taking out May so she can't attack! That wasn't the plan! You two cover her! We are not in position to! <laughs> She's already engaged! Let's go! Sho and I boost back to Mayu, but it's too late. I've been depowered. Her voice is lethally calm. This can't be good. The two enemy gears shift to Sho and I. Two on two, but not much distance. Play this out carefully. For once, Sho is serious. The 
Here, split their focus and one of them charges towards me while the other boosts towards show. I boost away and take aim. My aim is true and I blast, and a blast of energy rounds collides with her gear. She stumbles back from the hit while I create more distance between us. Before she can strike again, I move away to create more distance between us. I raise my guns for another shot. She tries to dodge, but is too slow, and my shots impel at her shield. She's pushed back from the force of the blow, but once she gets her bearings, she boosts right back towards me. As she approaches, I boost away from her and weave around the arena, pushing her to chase me. I steady my aim. She's too slow to dodge, and my shot strikes right through her shield. Her gear can't support the hit, and she's depowered. I look over at show just in time to see the enemy gear strike. Watch out! I boost closer and shoot again. The round connects with the gear just as her attack connects with Sho. Sho blocks just a second too late and he's depowered. Because she wasn't expecting my attack, she left herself vulnerable and is also depowered. May is the only remaining enemy gear. One more gear and the match is ours! On it. I boost out towards Kaori and May who are locked in a duel. Aura strikes with vigor, but is parried. May retaliates with a wide swing, which Kaori barely manages to block. I'm here. Don't you fear! Huh? What? What do you mean, don't interfere? Let me handle this! Howdy! This isn't a simulation. It's a real match! Yeah, what you're saying! May is going down in a one-on-one. -on -one. She won't have any excuses this way! This is a team match! What should I do? Engage. Eagle burst into action. What are you doing? I'm not just going to sit here and let her take me out. Anticipate her swing, I sense abuse my thrusters and counterattack with my own blade. With no shield activated on her back arc, my swing completely depowers her gear. Nice one! Show's the only one to speak. Guys? Mayu and Kari are both silent. Aura sheathes her blade and exits the arena. So I kind of wonder, would I be forced to fight her even if I chose the other one? Like, would she break off and go for me? Or how would this play out? The crowd roars to life, but their excitement doesn't penetrate the friction clouding our team. May's team heads back to their pre-combat room, as we head to ours. When we enter the pre-combat room, Kaori is nowhere to be found. She must already be changing. Sho and I go to change, but Mayu stays back. She must be really upset if she's actively avoiding Kaori. Man, I'm not liking the vibe right now. What? Were you expecting me to hang back? I didn't say that. I probably would have done the same if I were in your position. It's in the past now. Yeah. Show and I finish changing to head back to the pre-combat room. As soon as we enter, Kaori stomps up to me. Mayu is nowhere to be found. Oh my god, she's already killed Mayu and disposed of the body. Why did you do that? Do what? I told you I had it, but you engaged her anyway. How is that a bad thing? Isn't the goal to win the match? Yes, but that's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? She frowns. You don't understand! How could he? You aren't making any sense at all! Kaori tenses and glares at Sho. I don't have to explain myself to you! No, Kaori. We turn around to see Mayu. Her jaw is set and her eyes are hard. I've never seen her this upset before. It's chilling. Kaori's eyes widen. Mayu? You put your personal agenda above the team and risked the match. Our positioning was compromised, and I had no support. Those two were out of position because of an aggressive call that you made. That ended up costing us two depowered gears, one of which was avoidable. So no, you do owe us an explanation. Her voice is calm but severe. Mayu's ice is a lot more unnerving than any of Kaori's fiery outbursts. 
<sighs> this is getting out of control. Let's all take a deep breath and calm down. They ignore me and continue to glare at each other. Kauri looks between the three of us, then sighs. I get it. I made a mistake. But I can't be expected to always make the perfect calls. We don't expect that from you either. But when you start throwing the blame around... I'm sorry, okay? That didn't sound very sincere. It would help if you meant it. Kauri clenches her hands into fists. I said I'm sorry! I messed up! It was my fault! Blame me! What else do you want? Let's drop it. She already said sorry. Sho crosses his arms but nods. At least Mayu seems to have returned to her normal demeanor. Okay. We usually celebrate as a team after a win, but I get the feeling this won't happen this time. After picking up our stuff, we exit the pre-combat room. May is waiting for us outside, leaning against the door. Hey guys! Congratulations on the win! I glance at May, barely registering her presence. I'm too wrapped up with what happened in the pre-combat room. May's smile falters when no one answers. Wow, with gloomy faces like that, I think you were the ones that lost. Shut up, May! May flinches from the ferocity of Kauri's voice. Uh, I was just kidding, Kauri. Shut up, May. This is all your fault! May is stunned in the silence. You seriously need to calm down. May didn't do anything. You're being too harsh, Kauri. Kauri's eyes flash. You guys are taking her side? I thought you were my teammates! You're taking anyone's side, but since the match, you've been acting like a complete... Sho! Sho catches himself and falls silent. Kauri looks at him. A complete what? Nothing. She pauses. When she finally speaks, her voice cracks. I see. That's how you really feel. Sho's look softens. No, I didn't mean that! Kauri turns to face May. You. She lowers her head. You always turn my friends against me. She spins on her heel and walks away. When she thinks she's out of eyesight, she starts running. Kauri! Kauri disappears. Sho's about to rush after her when May blocks his path. I have to go apologize. I didn't mean what I said. May sighs. <sighs> you need to give her space right now. Or you'll just make it worse. Sho looks torn, but doesn't try to follow Kauri. I don't think I've ever seen her too upset to yell. Maya looks down worriedly at her feet. I was too mean to her earlier. I'm sorry. You guys shouldn't blame yourselves. Kauri just needs time to cool off. You sound like you speak from experience. May sighs and nods. What's up with her saying you always turn my friends against me? It's a long story. Something that happened back in middle school. Something to do with Ryota. You two go way back. Yeah, we do. May's pocket vibrates. She pulls out her phone and reviews the message. My team is wondering where I am. Don't worry too much about Kauri. She'll be okay. I'll talk to her when she's calmed down. We nod and watch May head out. I don't feel any less guilty. I shouldn't have acted that way earlier. No, it was my stupid comment. I never should have said something like that. I guess they still feel guilty, too. I'll go check up on her. I'll go see if she's okay. No, let me do it. I don't think she'll be too happy to see you right now, Sho. He's right. Sho frowns but doesn't protest. You guys can head out. I'll text you once everything's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, there's no point in you guys just staying around here. Let us know if we can help. Will do. I wave at the pair and jog in the direction Kauri went. The sun dips low in the sky as the evening rolls in. I search several locations for Kauri until I arrive at one of the most secluded campus quads. There's only one student sitting on the bench with a bag at her feet. Kauri's face is bent over her chest. I can hear faint sniffles. I place an arm on her shoulder. Hey, are you okay? Kauri glances up at me for a second, but it was long enough for me to see how her eyes are gl how her eyes glittered. She rubs her eyes. <laughs> We're all sorry. We're sorry, Kauri. Kauri shakes her head. You guys don't have anything to be sorry for. 
It was my fault. Still, we're your teammates. We should be helping each other, not fighting. You guys were right. This was personal. What? I've been... busy with other stuff. I guess the stress got to me. Other stuff? Kauri shakes her head. Don't worry about it. It's nothing major. I just have to handle myself better. I sit down beside her and enjoy the silence. The only sounds are of the soft whistles of the breeze and the chirp of wildlife. I let the tranquility wash over me. Even Kauri seems to be calmer. She looks up at the evening sky. Not happening. It's getting pretty late. Aw, oh, man. I've been wondering, what's your history with May? Kauri looks at me. What do you mean? She acts like your best friend, but you, not so much. Kauri sighs. We were best friends, but that was before she broke my trust. Our friendship can't go back to what it used to be, no matter how badly she wants it. What did she do to you that was so unforgivable? Kauri looks away. If you're ashamed or embarrassed to tell me, could it have really been that bad? Yes. Although she answers quickly, she seems a little less certain than before. Well, alright, that's your call. But it's obvious that May still cares a lot about you. Kauri doesn't answer. It's getting pretty late. You're going to head out? She stands up and picks up her bag. Yeah. Unexpectedly, she smiles. Thanks. I smile back. No problem. Want me to walk you back to your dorm? I'm okay. All right. Have a good evening. You too. As she disappears around the corner, I head back to my bike. The entire ride home, I run through the events leading up to Kauri's departure and her conversation afterwards. I'm just glad everything worked out okay. The house is quiet when I arrive home. I'm a little relieved as I'm exhausted, so I head straight to bed and fall fast asleep. Hmm.